Hello everybody and welcome. This is History Dude and today we will be continuing our series on the history of battle with the Battle of Galgamela, which occurred in October of 331 BCE. Now, after his victory at Issus, Alexander spent a year subduing the cities of Syria and Palestine and occupying Egypt, where he founded Alexandria. In the spring of 331 BCE, hearing that the Persian king Darius III was assembling a vast army in Mesopotamia, Alexander ordered his army to march east towards Persia itself. Darius, determined to defeat Alexander this time, waited for him on the plain of Galgamela, which is modern-day west of Arbela and present-day Erbil in northern Iraq. The Persian army was different from the one at Issus. Most Greek mercenaries were gone, leaving the infantry weaker, but other forces had been summoned from Darius's Asian empire, including elephants from India and hosts of Scythian and Afghan horsemen to augment the Persian cavalry. Darius also deployed 200 chariots with scythe wheels, flattening the ground in advance so that the vehicles could operate. Coming within sight of the Persian army in late September, Alexander pitched camp and considered how to take on forces outnumbering his own by four to one. He rejected a night attack and instead planned a variant on his usual tactics. Since it was impossible to avoid being outflanked on the open plain, he assigned cavalry and light infantry to defend the flanks and stationed a reserve force of infantry behind the front line. And here you can see an image of Darius III. And here is an image of the initial dispositions of the Battle of Galgamela. Now, the Macedonians advanced towards the Persians with Alexander and the elite companion cavalry leading on the right, and the phalanx infantry and other cavalry wing in echelon behind. Darius's charioteers charged the Macedonian phalanx, but proved hopelessly vulnerable to its light skirmishers, who struck most of them down with javelins. On the left, Alexander's flank guards fought desperately to hold the enveloping Scythian horsemen, but on the right, the Macedonian cavalry and Hippaspists, the elite infantry, broke through, as you can see here, uh, driving a path towards Darius in the Persian center. Once again, the Persian emperor was obliged to flee the field. Alexander gave chase, but gave up when he discovered that his army was getting the worst of fierce fighting behind him, where Persian infantry and cavalry had fought through to the rear of the Macedonian army. The arrival of Alexander's cavalry soon ended this melee around the baggage train. The Persians had once more been routed. In the aftermath of the battle, Darius was murdered by his own nobles, and Alexander advanced to take the Persian capital Babylon. And Alexander uh, punished the, the guy who uh, killed Darius III by scaphism. And if you don't know what scaphism is, it's basically where they put you in a boat and cover you in honey and they force feed you milk and you're basically just you die of insects basically and exposure to the sun it's really a brutal death um, as you can see here this is a depiction from the video game Total War of the Battle of Galgamela you can see the Macedonian infantry on the left with the Persian infantry on the right. And here you can see an image of a Macedonian soldier with Macedonian armor, as you can see here. Um, they were usually made of metal breastplates. And they had this little plume here on their helmet. And they used the traditional shield the hoplon and Persepolis was the ceremonial center of the Persian Empire that in 330 BCE Alexander plundered and burned he destroyed the palace of Xerxes as revenge probably for the burning of Athens in 480 BCE and that is all you need to know about the Battle of Galgamela as always, this has been History Dude, and remember to have an awesome day.